Coming in behind, you can actually see some of the hula hoops. Uh, there's uh, quite a contingent of those being handed out tonight. And uh, while well, they'll It'll be perfect for this particular performance because this is Circus Days getting ready to enter the Diamond area. They're an all-terrain performance troupe specializing in LED and fire manipulation props. They're available for hire for performance, instruction, and demonstration. All of their props, which can be purchased, are handmade. Circus Days will be performing after the parade as well during the light-up night festivities when we welcome Santa. And joining Circus Days is, as I mentioned, the Butler County Hooping Community, which is a collaboration of local hula hoopers dedicated to raising awareness of the physical, mental, and emotional benefits of hula hooping. And these aren't your mama's hula hoops, I might say. <laughs> Did you know? The bigger and heavier the hoop, the easier it is to oh, use. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I used to think it was the light hoop and the heavier me, but no, <laughs> I was on the wrong side of that. I think my hips would be frozen. I wouldn't be able to do, do those <laughs> movements. They look great out there. Look at them go. And the hooping community walking uh, through Circus Days, and they were going to be handing out various hula hoops as well tonight, so it was great to have them on performance. So we had a get-together kind of referring back to one of our previous floats, our grassroots show that is on the Rock Station 97.7 had a, a band jam music festival and some of the hooping community people were there performing during that event for the entire weekend. Oh, it wow. was just so much fun. It gave the kids something to do because it was a family fun event. But uh, you can see they do a whole lot more than just hula hoop. Look at the fire involved wow. in this one. Wow. Here's some performance for you. Well, this really looks great under the lights, Bob, and this, stuff like this makes the nighttime parade even even better. Coordination and effort that goes into this, wow. I don't think you should try this at home, folks. No, no, I would have a hair singed on my yeah. hands if I was doing this, for sure. <laughs> And this is just the front end. There's a whole lot more coming in. They have a, a whole float in behind uh, where they're doing some of the hooping here. Now everybody's going to be running out and buying hula hoops, or that's going to be the request for under the Christmas tree, Absolutely. Huh? <laughs> Bob, I actually heard it. it is a good workout, yeah. hula hooping. Yeah. Maybe we can burn off that Thanksgiving dinner. That's right. <laughs> feeling Santa Claus will be getting a lot of requests, so I'm sure they'll be stocking up at the North Pole. Again, this is Circus Days. I think it's so neat that they are available for hire, for performance, instruction, and demonstration. I think we should hire them, bring them to the station, and yeah. we can have a little station building exercise with the hula hoops. <laughs> Of course, if you're having a community event, maybe uh, in the next spring, summer, uh, think about hiring them on. There's some folks that have coordinated their promotion. Circus Days, they have a big group with them for tonight's performance. Then up on top of the vehicle. <laughs> wow. Amazing stuff. I think this is only, the, not even the first half of the Lights Camera Action 49th Annual Spirit of Christmas Break. Can't wait to see what's up next, Bob. This is an exciting event. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, there's 70 different uh, Groups or floats involved in tonight's parade, so we're just uh, barely a fifth of the way through here tonight. If you're just tuning in, you found Lights, Camera, Action, a Cinematic Christmas, the 49th Annual Spirit of Christmas Parade, live here on Armstrong. I'm Bob Cup, along with Kayla Molzan from the Butler Media Group, and uh, what a festive night, perfect night, too. A little bit on the chilly side, but no precipitation, a gorgeous day leading up, and it really looks like some nice weather for most of the weekend. They were maybe talking a little rain tomorrow afternoon, and it looks